Oh, there's so many things just swimming in the water now. Yikes. So this plane... How long ago was this? I didn't pick up anyone's guns from earlier, but I did steal a whole bunch of their attachments. <laughs> Do I have to worry about things being inside the plane? I have bad memories of planes too. Oh! How do we get in? What is this? There's a lot of panels here. No one's here, right? Now that wouldn't have been smart to do if we were stealthing this. No? I feel so dumb. I should have landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here. That's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others... They have relatives there. Maybe. It's been ten years, but... I could still be alive. Anyways... We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well... We'll have to live and see about that. <gasps> was this person looking for us? He was trying to find people in Moscow from 10 years ago. Information was being blocked on both sides. Oh. The plane hit a power line. Ooh, hey, this looks pretty good. This is the same gun as mine, right? But for some reason, they've decided to switch. They mirrored the icon. But when you compare it, it's the same thing. But I can get the scope. I'll just take the scope. An upgrade for my gear. Find a workbench. That is a pilot. How come this person here is so fresh? Did they come later on, maybe? Yeah, maybe they weren't even part of the original people. I don't know. Sorry, Duke. I did not leave you a single thing. Oh, man. I hope we never have to go back to that church again. Ooh. Actually, how do I get back to the train? I gotta worry about that, too. What the hell is that sound? The train is here, right? Oh, sorry, man. Don't mean to intrude. Don't mean to intrude! I'm not here for this. Sorry, I accidentally enroached on your territory. What the hell was that sound? Oh, that's our train. And here's Artyom back from the abyss of NATO <gasps> occupation. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. 
Artyom, a moment. Sounds like the village is just completely removed. They don't know anything about the war. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. <laughs> we all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> your mom? Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya, where are you uh, from? The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who could have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? Wow. There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh. We call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes. Where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, ridden with disease. I'm a trained nurse, but Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. Sarfish? I tried doing something to help them, but no. It's a sin. And then he just locked us up in that tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Uncle Crest gave me the flashlight, but Silentius got mad and smashed it. He did, and then he cursed Crest. So the man had to hide in the port. It's a basement lair, so Silentius can't get him there. He also wanted to make mommy marry him, but Ugh. she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Ugh. Yes, the gospel of the damn fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. That crazy creep, he's just so... Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Okay, what I'm getting here is that we have a church and they worship the fish. Is it the fish that attacked me? They feed stuff to the fish regularly? The Tsar fish, I think they called it? And basically anybody who disagrees with them, they lock them up, which is why there was a whole bunch of people who were just scared in the tower there. I don't think we got to talk to all of them. There was one door with two people in front of them, but I didn't stick around long because I'm pretty sure once that conversation finished, they would have started walking around. I wonder which body got discovered earlier. Maybe one of the ones in the hallway. Hi, Artyom. Found the occupying forces yet? Grab them by their tails when you do. <laughs> Actually, I don't think a single man from NATO would ever be here. Save for me, of course. <laughs> the thing is, what would they even do here? I guess they could bomb the bridge if they wanted. Why set up a base here? They'd be in a city, not in this hellhole. If they even wanted to come. People here use different terminology when referring to the same things that we do. Gargoyles, demons, because of a lack of exchange of information. Because everyone has been stuck in their place. 
Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Okay. Look at the setting sun. Artyom, come over here, please. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. The sun is gone. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yaramak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau, from the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. That would probably begin with fixing the train, huh? Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one, and I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Hmm, apparently. Uh, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place. That bad, huh? Hey, uh, idiot? Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> hey. In the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care? Artyom? The scourge of the Dark Ones? <laughs> oh, don't make fun of me. Go get them all, Artyom. They'd better hope they can run fast enough. Well, let's hope that's really the case. By the way, Alyosha, my friend, that Katya lady Anna brought in? No. She's a nurse, so maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? It'd make a great opener for getting acquainted, you know? She's a widow! <laughs> no dice. Stepan's all over her with his rugged charm. I haven't got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought he was doing earlier. He was like... Uh, so you got a husband? <laughs> Very smooth. Hey, Anna. Artyom, are you going to the port? I am going to relieve Alyosha now, so I can't come with you. His hand is still giving him trouble. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you go run that errand for my father now. Just be careful out there. You know I worry about you. Thanks, honey. I kind of wonder about Miller a little bit because he's so... He's our leader. And he's really loyal to... I guess the Russian government? But between us and the Russian government, who is more important? I don't know with him. Not yet. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? It's kind of a drag having to drop it down. I have a present for you here. 
Etihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's nomadic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. But that replaced my Kalash? No, it's a third gun. Beautiful! Thank you, another slot. Don't point your gun at your friendly people. Okay, well, I guess that's it for our first day here. Uh, is it just me or did the place get smaller? What happened to my table? I wanted to come read the journal a little bit. Where is the journal? The little diary we had. Can we not... I'd love to go and set out to the next mission, but before that, I kinda just wanna... Um, read something, you know? What is that ugly, dirty flag anyway? I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't have a flag, just because it feels like it might be attracting attention. Okay, well, just to have a look here. So we had the church, up at the um, top there, and then towards the left, bottom left, there is the plane, and then walking from the plane, we're at the train. And now we want to go pretty much directly where I'm looking at right now. Yeah? But along the way, it does seem like there is a building. So I guess we can check that out too. Is there a day-night cycle, by the way? Because it seems like it's noticeably darker now. I'm just wondering where my journal is. That's all. Maybe we can't read it until we start the train again. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, well, I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna take a quick break here first. The locals were none too happy to see us here. Looks like after the war, they created a veritable technophobic cult here. And its leader managed to trap me in their half-flooded church. I have no idea what they would have done to me had they actually captured me. But with the aid from a woman called Katya, the cultist had been keeping imprisoned here, I managed to give them the slip. Luckily, I was able to avoid casualties in the process. Katya mentioned an engineer called Crest, who's hiding from the cultists in the port. He could help us fix the Aurora and cross the bridge. Now seems to be a good time to pay him a visit. Both Katya and Crest sound like good people to have with us permanently. A nurse and an engineer. We have a whole bunch of soldiers, but if we can't get the train running, we're not gonna go anywhere. So let's go find Crest then. I'll be out for a little bit, but uh, hopefully I'll be back before... Uh, Joe, uh, I took some measurements. There is one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The readings are off the scale. So you'd better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. Artyom? <laughs> afraid? Bullshit. Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After the nuking, the fallout got washed off into the rivers and settled down as sediment. Catfish are bottom dwellers, so they got hit worst. But this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked. I, I don't think it will attack if you keep quiet. It's no alligator after all. By the way, did you alligator. see any of those? <laughs> uh, back in the States, I mean. It's not like they were all over the place there, like bears in Russia. You know? Though I've been to Florida once and visited an alligator farm there. I haven't seen one since I joined the Marines, though. Middle East, Moscow, the embassy, you know. I heard Miller saved you from a lynching when shit hit the fan. Yep. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Oh. It sounds like maybe you were some kind of, um, escaped soldier. 
Okay, you said there is a radioactive hotspot between here and the port. Oh, they marked it on the map. That little triangle thing? It's pretty much along the way anyway. Okay. And we can't go in the water, not for too long, so I think we gotta um, find the boat that they mentioned is by the foot of the bridge. Oh god, you see monsters wandering around already. It seems like there used to be stairs here, but you can't even see it anymore. The compass attached to your notepad will always point towards the current objective. We used to have a lighter back in the previous games, but a lighter doesn't really make much sense. Wait, we have one still, don't we? For clearing the spiders and all. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I thought this one showed the objective as well, but right now, there's no spider trails for us to uh, clear. Oh, perfect. What does that icon mean? You put it on my map? Oh, uh, okay. Now we can see the boat. But the boat is the thing that if we don't put it back here, it won't be here, right? So we gotta make sure to um, put it in the right spot and all. Whew. Didn't have a very good experience with water earlier. Oh god. How do I know if they want to attack me or not? Why don't we try to get to land first? Oh, oh! No! I just want to get to land. Oh! Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Sometimes they want to attack me, but sometimes they don't. Maybe it depends on how aggressive I am to them. Here's some land here. This is okay? There's a bit of ice. I mean, it's not really a proper port, but I don't think that's something we'll find all the time, right? Maybe I should have parked over there, next to the truck. It's a little bit radioactive here. Oh, maybe we're near the radioactive spot. Okay. Oh, we're pretty much right on top of it. Mm hmm. The map is actually really big and there's a lot to look at, so we don't have to go straight for whatever it wants me to go to. But I think starting with those parts is probably gonna be a good idea. The dirtier your weapons get, the more its performance degrades, any workbench will allow you to fix a dirt problem. Did we see a workbench yet? Oh! Gas mask. Why are we here again? Do we know what we're looking for? Or are we trying to figure out what we're looking for? It's red. It's really red. It's really radioactive here. To the point that my equipment is failing. My watch is failing. Whoa. Oh, I think I'm dying, dude. I'm like... red. Hold on. Let me walk back a little bit. Are we okay? Yeah... I was hurt from the radiation! It's not just the gas mask time that was being used up. But what do they want me to find there? We know there's a radioactive spot there, but is there anything specific we're trying to find? Our first contact with an extra... Should I say Moscow? <laughs> Everyone here says Moscow. Extra Moscow civilization is a complete failure. The local society abhors technology. Katja and Nastya spoke fondly of another traveler who got, the, who got stranded in these parts. Pressed. He appears to be a mechanic, and Yurimak will need all the help he can get if we are to restore the Aurora back to running condition anytime soon. The Colonel is ready to offer him a permanent position in our crew, and I sure hope 
He'll be inclined to accept. Hmm. Earlier, they mentioned something about the catfish too, but uh, the catfish should be in this in the sea, right? Oh, I gave Artyome medkit, but for some reason he was yelling out loud. It's raining hard here. Are there going to be winged demons here? Oh god, okay. Can we... Can we climb this? Do we want to climb this? Not actually sure what this is. There's an American flag here. That's an American flag, right? Kind of too raggedy to tell. Oh, a nice warm fire. <gasps> and a shotgun! A shotgun! That is. that is good! But I don't wanna um, leave any of my. Ah, it's this kind of. Mm, we can do some enhancements. Crest is exactly who we're looking for. And is this a workbench? Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, um, dang, did you see though? Earlier it said the bed heals my health, but I just used a med kit right before coming here. Dang. Um, I want to make sure my weapons aren't dirty. How do I clean this? Clean. Remove the dirt, grime, and water from the weapon mechanism using chemicals. If you allow too much dirt to accumulate on a weapon, eventually it will completely be ruined. Is it clean? Yes it is. I should probably clean everything, right? But it takes quite a bit of chemicals. But I have 90. It's fine. Sniper stock, grip and forend. This is the pneumatic weapon, the T-car. Reflex sight. Okay. Gas mask repair. I don't need to repair it right now. It's full. Spartan helmet. Can I make one? No, oh, I'm wearing one right now, right? A mandatory piece of equipment every Spartan wears. The helmet provides adequate ballistic protection and, which is very important during the sorties to the surface, makes provisions for a quick and convenient usage of a gas mask. Electrical equipment. Set of tool is vitally important in the metro. Flashlight illuminates your path, while its battery, should it run dry, can be easily charged with the aid of a compact charger. Best? Racer. Sturdy wrist guard provides protection against animal attacks, and serves as a convenient mount for additional survival facilitating devices. Okay, I can install a compass onto my bracer. Sure, why not? Is it already on? Wait, what's the... Am I- is this a trade-off here? This is the default one, right? And then this is an extra thing, is my understanding. Okay. Alright. 
Yes, now I have a compass on my bracer. Crest is here. Is Crest around here? No, he should be over there. No, but I've stumbled upon his house. And he mentioned something about military outposts. Okay, cool. Why don't we have a sleep? In someone's bed? Randomly? What's the bottom one? <laughs> Does that do anything for me? I guess I can sleep until morning. Oh, and then that's how you would change a day-night cycle. Okay. Is there a weather cycle? Or is it always raining here? It seems like it is always raining here. Well, okay, why don't we also take the time to adjust our weapons then? Because I feel like we do have some things we can do. Steel balls for the pneumatic weapon. Throwing knives. I'm okay for now. But the grip. Lighter grip. Short barrel flash suppressor. Iron sight. Reflex sight. Scope. Mm, so I can basically turn this weapon into a sniper rifle on the fly. Ah, so rather than any weapon being a specific sniper rifle, I can just kind of mix and match parts to create whatever weapon I like. Pretty much, right? I actually like iron sights the most. I think reflex sight... Uh, well... We'll try it out. I feel like I won't like it though. No gadget, no problems. So this is still my silenced gun right now. Or actually, how come it got switched back to the short barrel again? I thought I changed it to the suppressor. Iron sights, scope. Ooh, if we install a scope, then we can make like um, a long range silenced weapon, huh? Might not be that important though. Light grip, forend, sniper stock. Yeah, I think we're okay for now. We don't have that many different parts. Iron sights. Reflex sight. Oh, we have two weapons with reflex sight. Okay, we'll try it out. Okay. It's still raining outside. This is some kind of a military installation. Maybe that's why there is a flag here. I don't even know what that is. Some sort of a mutated creature. Am I going the right way? If I go this way, that's the main objective. But the radioactive spot is not one that we figured out yet. I guess we can have another look. Although there's some monsters around there already. Eight in the morning right now. Ooh. You coming? Oh god! I thought I was gonna leave. Don't call for more. I feel like resource management might be a big issue here because previously we always had linear levels but in an open world that's something we gotta be careful about, right? And speaking of which, I have four bullets on this gun now. What am I gonna do? I still have another gun but... Oh jeez. Oh there's more! There's more! I think I probably should get out of here. Oh god, whoa, 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 what's happening here? Hold on, hold on. Things are turning out very badly right now. 
I don't even have... What's happening with my gun? Oh my lord! I... And you know, during this kind of time, we don't have time to... change our weapons. Oh god! Is this considered a safe house? Well, that was really, really bad. Oh, hey! <laughs> um, there must be a way for me to make ammo, right? Do I need a workbench for that, or can I just do this here? Probably making some med kits would be a great thing to begin with. Do I have enough supplies? Steel balls? Yeah. Hmm, throwing knives? I feel like they work better in stealth, so I'm not sure if throwing knives would have helped me out there. Anyway, how do I make more ammo? Is it possible for me to do that? Craft? Because it looks like all I can craft is... Uh... Steel balls for now. Can I craft something here? Mm-hmm. You know, that was pretty hectic, but I feel like it's the kind of thing that's good to learn earlier on. So that wasn't a bad thing. No. Hangan ammo. Yeah? Hangan ammo is for that gun, which I have a lot of bullets of. Assault rifle is for the Kalash. Okay, assault rifle. I need plenty of that. And I'm actually out of... Oh no, I'm out of materials already. Ooh, that's a bit... I have some shotgun ammo, but I don't even have a shotgun right now. Should I dismantle this? To make sure that I can get some ammo for my Kalash? Kinda don't want to. Oh! It gave me so little. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have enough of the... Um, whatever this one's called right now. Okay, in that case, I think what we should do is probably... We need to avoid engagements. Mm-hmm. And we're- there's still one more guy outside, right? Yeah, th that's not very many bullets at all, oh my god. Only three bullets? Hold on. Yeah. Um, a silencer is something that we can always have time to put on if we need to. So why don't we use a standard barrel for now? To make sure that we can kill the stuff that comes to us. Yikes, that was scary. Especially when they come in hordes too. I think the pneumatic weapon, I keep saying that, the T-car rifle, it can fire rapidly if I just hold it down. Okay, I think my mission today is to make sure that I live, okay? So why don't we focus on going to Crest first? It's this way. We were kind of going there, but I got distracted by the, the one little camp. Oh god. Wait, there's so many dead people around here. And not people. I feel like sometimes I hear gunshots in the distance. I think this is where we want to be if we... If we want to find Crest. OH FUCK! JESUS! Oh my god! This posture. <laughs> Well, that was, uh, very, very pleasant. Welcome. Should I be quieter then? I feel like I should.
my god. According to the map, Crest should be at the end of all the stuff. I can hear things growling around. Hmm. I feel like I just want to be sure though. Hmm. Yeah, I do think we're in the right place. We are. And now knowing that resources are so precious... <laughs> Back in the train section when we were rescuing Yurimak and Anam, it was like, oh, we had so many things that we couldn't even carry anything. But now we know resources are precious. Probably don't want to turn any lights on, right? That was a new thing, by the way. That humanoid monster. Was that like a irradiated human? Okay, for some reason I'm walking super slow. Basically, we rely on chemicals and the other resource. Well, we gotta be really careful about looking around then for resources. Woo! That one engagement rattled me so much earlier. But you know, like I said, it's a good learning opportunity. It's better to learn things earlier than later. Who is making that noise though? I don't like it. I don't- I can't see you. Makes me more scared too. I don't think I can make ammo here. Mm. I'm hoping we can get an upgrade later on that will change that. But for now, ammo is precious. So I think even though it's cowardly, if running away will help us live, we gotta run. Try not to attract any extra attention first. What am I hearing? I want to walk, but I'm kind of scared. There's another boat. Anything here? Oh, come on. There's so much rubble here, but not enough supplies. Damn beast! Oh! Do I not understand how the compass works? Because I thought it was pointing behind me. Well, oh, I think we should hurry up. Oh my god. Ow! I keep slipping. That guy? Building's roof? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, are you gonna come? 
Oh my god. Reloading takes a while. So you were the one making all that noise. There's more noises in here. I'm trying to save up my Kalash bullets because I feel like they're more effective. Oh! Okay, ah! Uh, take all of that, right? That is a... Uh, it's a Kalash. They're just trying to trick me with um, the reversed icon. Hey. Oh, I can't... You want to open the box, but I can't pick up the backpack? <laughs> mm. I don't have a workbench, so I still can't make any more ammo stuff. But I do have more supplies now. Yeah, I think we'll be... Standard barrel compensator. More damage. Yes. Gadgets. Red laser. Cheap laser pointer that was heavily modified to increase power output. At the cost of reliability. What does that mean? I already have a reflex sight right now, so I don't think I need it here. I feel like the backpack is gonna be a thing that I'll have to get really, really good at navigating. Because right now, I'm really slow with it. But if we ever need to do it really, really quickly, then... I gotta do it quicker. <laughs> Dude? This doesn't feel good. Oh god. Oh god! There's so many! I gotta wait for you! There's still more! Oh, I'd rather fight humans! You guys don't drop anything! Oh! Holy crap though, look at this view! That was crazy! Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers have never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Blin. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me, well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> Anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running, Mili. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Oh, good. Thanks. 
I was just wondering about that. Oh Look my bridge god. First. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right. That huge hangar. That's a terminal, blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, <laughs> tarfish live there, you know. Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Now, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how this binocular thing works exactly. Whenever we hear the bzzz, it means there's something nearby, and I'm marking them all on my map right now, I think. So there's a church. Don't need to mark that. There's a train. Wow, you can even see people at the train. Wow. And that's where we were earlier. Surprisingly close. It felt like such a trek, but... Wow. Looking at the view like this is really... Just... Uh, this is really impressive. Oh my god. Anything over on this side? Maybe not. It's just... The sea. something here I don't know what I'm marking I'm just marking a whole bunch of stuff on my map right now wow okay this is very cool those are people oh those are the bandits he was talking about probably Oh, wow. Okay. Just wondering. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! <gasps> wow, okay, that's a lot of stuff we can do later on. I'm sorry, where, where did you go? Did you- oh my god, where did he go? wasn't paying attention. Wait, how did I get up here? Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was listening. 